today I'm going to be tying a March Brown wet fly. I'm going to start my thread at the eye of the hook. The thread that I'm using is Uni A O in black and the hook is a size 12. I'm just going to keep going and I'll stop and I'll let go of the bobbin the thread sits in line with the barb. Just take away your waist piece. Now the tail and the hackle is going to be a partridge feather. And I've got it here, and see it's well marked, nice colour on the tips. It's a well marked feather, so it is. I'm just going to pull these so they're 90 degrees from the stem and then just rip them off. Just gather them all together, and you want them to be the full length of the hook. Tie them in on the back couple of turns to hold them. Now you can go a lot sparser than that in the tail. And I'm just tying in the rib here which is just copper wire, a very fine copper wire. And then just tie all that down. Take your thread till it's about two eye widths away from the eye. Now I'm going to put a sort of underbody on this fly which is going to be just natural hair dubbing. This is from the body, nice long fibres. You buy it in packs like this. This one's um, by Wopsy. See there, Wopsy, it's called Rabbit All Purpose Dubbing. And obviously, this is the natural hair. <coughs> Just dub it onto your thread, you want it nice and tight. Slide it up, a turn to two to anchor it, and then tighten it up. Really, this is just to bulk up the body, which makes it easier because you're going to be tying in heels here. And to be honest, you don't get a lot out of the one bit. And heels here is no, it's not my most favourite material to work with. It's very frustrating. Now, you need wax for this next part. So I'm just holding the wax up to my light, just to soften it. Then I'm just going to run my thread through my thread. Three or four times. You'll see your thread, it'll be as if it's getting shinier. Now, this is just a full mask. I'm going to use the ears at the top. And you'll notice these, this is like right at the tip and at the corner. And there's really, these really soft fibres here. More say for the other side there. Some nice ones in the front there as well. And that's where I'm going to take it from. I just use my scissors to cut it. Now, once I've got it off, I just kind of mix it in your finger, just like that. Until you get, you can hold it in one spot and it's sort of like that. Now just sit it on your thread. Nice tight wraps. It's a really short fibre so it doesn't grip your hook as well as the body here. Now just start to wind it up, tightening up as you go. It's alright if you leave gaps, you don't, you don't need to worry about not covering the, the underbody. So it gives it quite a nice effect, it does. So a wee bit more on here. Got a wee bit for the front there. You can also buy heels you're already sort of dubbed onto rope. You just wind it on as a chenille. Now, you have to have a ribbon this fly. And I'm going to counter rib it. So I'm coming under instead of over. And quite close turns. It'll help to secure it in. Now what I do is I run the thread right down to the eye, fold the rib back, and run it straight back up like that. 
but just bend and break away the wire. Don't cut it. However, if you are going to cut it, what I tend to use is, you can see just right in here, right there there's the flat bit where the blade stops. I just put it in there and you just quickly snip it and it just breaks off. <coughs> now at this point, I would just tidy up just a few fibres coming out of the hairs here, just pull them away. Now again, put some more wax onto your thread and again I just hold it up to my light and then just run it through and you'll see it getting a lot shinier. And if there's any wee blodges, splotches, I just run my fingers through just sort of massaging it into the thread itself. Now for the hackle, as I said it's just another partridge. It's a lot smaller this time. And I'm going to show you <coughs> sorry how I tie these in. What I do is I just put my hackle pliers onto the tip and then just pull away all the excess. Just fold it back, tear hackle pliers out just like that. And then I just come in, trim away the tip leaving a small stock like that leave that tiny wee tag bit there and that's what we're going to use to tie it in set it against your hook just come around run your thread right up Again to the eye, come back up about two turns from where you tied off or where your feathers tied in. Now you can remove the excess fluff, just take it off, and you want to fold these, fold the fibres back on themselves as you start to wind. You'll need about a turn and a half, just about there. Now cross your thread. couple of turns in there. To trim the stop. And that is going to be your hackle. I like them quite long like that, sort of going into the tail. You'll see it when it's in the water at all. When it goes back, makes a nice taper with the tail. Now for the wing, it's hen pheasant centre tail. And I'm just going to take out a slip from either side. Now hen pheasant doesn't stay, basically it won't go on the feather like that. It'll sort of want to wrap around. And you'll see when I tie it in, or what I mean when I tie it in. Actually makes quite a nice wing. Just come in with your double needle, separate the two fibres. Trim it away. Now just line up the tips. Line them up. Look at the measure. So now we're about halfway into the wing. Just pinch that down, nice and tight. Come up with a loose pinching loop. And again, and then come in with a turn or two. And really pull the fibres down. Now just let go, see how that's sitting. That's fine. And just tidy up. Now come in and with your scissors, level with the eye, 
be a diagonal cut like that. A bit more wax onto my thread at this point. Take your thread to the front. And just start to build up. Covering all that. Come in with your flip finish. Put finishing the way back down. Put it nice and tight, come in, trim it off. Now, again, you can use black varnish or what I'm going to use just a black sharpie or a black, just a permanent marker. And you just want to colour the head. that and now I'm gonna get you need to use varnish or super glue if you use varnish it tends to soak in and you need a few coats super glue tends to kind of stick or stay on top I'm just gonna use this super glue just put some onto your brush or onto your dubbing needle I like to use a dubbing needle when I'm doing this Basically, I think it gives you better control, plus doesn't dirty up the tip of your brush with a black ink. Just come round. You'll see the shine that's on it. It's just it's exactly like using black varnish. And that there is your March Brown wet fly. An excellent early season pattern. It's good for the brownies. And again you can tie it in different sizes. Tie it larger, tie it smaller. That is March Brown wet fly.